All right, so we got these rich families that are taking their wealth and using it to gain access into colleges and sports teams or teams, sports teams at colleges uh, to get opportunities for their kids. Of course, the opportunities are not actually sports related because if their kids could actually perform in any sports, they wouldn't need their parents to buy their way into a college or onto some sports team. It's very interesting and uh, it's, I feel like it's a topic that's probably going to end up kind of being highlighted for a week or two, people talking about it, people getting arrested and whatever, whatever, and then it's probably just going to go away. And the reason is because it's too freaking big. Uh, and it's existed for such a long time that at what point or place do you draw the line with who's actually guilty or who did something wrong? And how much does how everything's happened in the past establish a precedence for what is okay to do now or in the future? So, summarize, uh, what's happened forever is that rich people buy their way into colleges by making a donation and uh, getting some building named after them, generally, in a college campus. And the idea uh, to even suggest that their kids somehow don't have some advantage from that is ridiculous. Of course they do. Uh, the difference with this is, and so, so in that particular case, you have a lot of money that flows into a college, uh, a lot of times it's alumni, people that have a heart for that particular school, they wanna support it. The money just, you know, it, it ends up going into uh, the general fund, it supports whatever the college president wants to do. Uh, you know, of, of course there's gonna be abuses of that and, and excesses and, and things like that, whatever. Uh, I don't particularly see anything wrong with that. I think the, the reason that I'm even commenting on this at all is that I feel like there are some stark similarities with some slight differences that create the criminality of what's happening now. So that's kind of the flow of money, the way it's always happened. This new situation is, is we have this, this guy, I can't remember what his name is, who created this company, created some foundations, nonprofits, and basically took money from people to uh, primarily two things that I understand, but mainly targeted at just getting them access to the college that they wanted to go to, which is so stupid because why wouldn't they just have their kids apply to the colleges? Or do they think that they did so poorly in school that they wouldn't get accepted? Or they've uh, sheltered them and shadowed them so much that they feel like they're uh, you know, they're, they're not able as a result of that, which could be part of their defense. I'm famous and my kid needed to be protected. And so they couldn't go play sports or they couldn't go out in the community and learn anything. So they're really stupid and unable to, to do anything. So they needed an extra help to get into college. That's probably their only hope of defense is something like that. But, uh, so the flow of money here is that they pay money to this guy who created these nonprofits, and uh, he goes and bribes coaches from colleges, uh, instructors, uh, people that are responsible for uh, approving, uh, you know, kids to get into college and those those kinds of things. Basically, outright, straight out bribes. So obviously, this guy broke the law. Did. You know, did the parents break the law? I don't know. I mean, did they break the law any any more than, you know, the rich person who now has the medical center that's, you know, named after their family as a result of their donation? It was still money going out of their pocket. Did they understand that they were doing something that was wrong? Did they were they directly told, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bribe these people so that your your child gets in? Or or did they just think that they had some relationships that they could you know, get some hookups and get their get their kids approved. Now, 
with regards to the testing, obviously, uh, where they, uh, they, if they were aware that their, there was testing that their child needed to do and somebody else was going to do it for them or correct it for them, then, I mean, obviously that's an issue and not, not legal. At least I don't think it is, but, and we're also talking about a college entrance. And so we're not talking about something related to the government. So I don't know, maybe it's not illegal. The people that took the bribes, I think, are in trouble, obviously, especially if that money went into their personal funds, if they were taking it to actually do something for the team or for the classroom or something like that, I guess maybe there'd be some justification, but my guess is, is most of them bought a house with it or, you know, did something, went out to dinner, bought a boat. So, you know, those people are in trouble. Um, are the colleges liable? Did, the, did anybody in the colleges know this was going on? I don't know. Who else is responsible? It's just such a, a long, stringy, interesting thing that I think a lot of people are going to get stung. I don't know that I necessarily agree anybody should do jail time other than the guy who probably was the kingpin. The rest of the people should probably pay for the students who didn't get access to these colleges who would have otherwise gotten into colleges, but, but the stupid, incapable kids who happen to come from rich rich families got into the college and took their spot, those are the ones that probably ought to get some benefit from this. So there probably ought to be some financial remuneration. Uh, how the heck do you even figure that out? You know, how do you figure out who the kids are that didn't get, didn't get access or didn't get approved? That's really interesting. But I think sending the people to jail for something like this is it's a waste of taxpayer dollars. There ought to be some other some other way they're used to writing checks for everything so let them write some fat checks to something that's meaningful and helpful so anyway not that you cared but that's my take on the topic